Slowly we got to the other side with the bridge dangerously creaking. Actually, it is still we. It is me and Anne. <laughs> so, we're still two. So it's okay. Be fortunate. Whew. Good that that worked out. Oh, it's them. Someone was calling out to us from down the road. The patrol found us to check whether we made any progress on the job they have they gave us. A mission to find our lost lamb. How to put this? Handed. We handed the. Ri We handed the ring to the leader who turned pale, then almost took a swing at us, giving up at the last moment. His men were silent. They just picked up their backpacks and left. Okay. Okay. Say nothing. When the leader recalled his love for his sister, we heard odd notes in his voice. He kissed the ring as if it was the most prized treasure. Um. Nah. I shouldn't force it. Let them go. Meddling in a patrol's business was a bad idea and we didn't want them to ask too many questions. We did what we promised and the rest was in the girl's hands. Let's go. I hope she's doing okay. It started to rain and we had nowhere to hide. It was... Uh, yeah, that's fucking stupid in the mountains when it rains. It was so heavy that even trees wouldn't shelter us. We were cold and tired and the path was slippery. There wasn't enough space to camp. Clench your teeth and move on. Get off the path and look for cover. Try to use a tent to hide from the rain. Uh, that one. It influences those. Th you clench your teeth and moved on. It's cold and water is everywhere. You can't see anything in that weather. Then you slip and the mud and fall off the path. You're sliding down. Fuck this shit! Try to... Stop the slide. Ah, my my health is going down. Ah, I'm sick. Shit. It does nothing. You are sliding down with every moment faster. You can't stop it now. You finally fall into a pre 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 that word. In that heavy rain, no one can hear a scream. Fuck. What will happen to us now? Oh, fuck. My, my life. <gasps> I've got rope. Oh, hell yeah. I, s I will set a camp. I need the medicine. Come on. Well, let's not give a fuck anymore. I don't think we will meet many people who will need medicine in this mountain mountain region. So let's just use it ourselves. We are getting higher in the hope to reach the light finally. But when we leave a beautiful old forest, you can see that path is covered in mud and stones. The mud flow has blocked our route. We can use the rope to tie us together. That way we can secure each other. <laughs> Yeah, why the fuck not tie myself to myself? Do that. With a rope, we managed to move forward. <laughs> it was hard, but every time someone slipped, we managed to pull them out. <laughs> Thanks to that, we managed to cross the trap. Yep. I'm just helping myself. I'm a big girl. Oh yeah, right oh. Um, boop. Manage resources. Uh, medicine. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Mm -hmm. And as we're at it, why the hell not food? I mean, I don't think we will meet many people who need it more than I do in this area. So do this and a short, short break, short nap, long sleep. Short nap. That will do. Okay. Okay, hit the road. Good that we've got that rope. We pack the camp swiftly. The light awaits us. Or not. I do what did they say about Hamlet? Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, shit. Boulders. No. Ah, stone avalanche. Hide behind something. Okay. Rock. But, okay. Oof. That was good. Oh shit, we were so close. We finally arrived at the hamlet. What the hell is a hamlet? It's a piece from Shakespeare. A road running among sloppy shacks set up next to a pre-blackout village ended at a gate. Beyond it lay the final path to the light. What is the light? Why is it shining? Is it just a million glowworms in a jar? Who knows? There's a group of people there. What's that man doing? Go straight for the gate. A woman is crying. A woman is crying? Why? Someone tried to comfort her, saying that she should be thankful that her husband and children were accepted into the light. 
They achieved the opposite result as she started sobbing even harder. Don't cry for sure that you will join them. The woman gave Anne a blank stare. Composing herself, she mumbled that she had to work and walked off, leaving her companion with us. The other woman was grateful Anne that, the, that Anne spoke up. Can we help her? If we had food or mood boosters, maybe we could help, the other woman said hesitantly. Yeah, mood boosters, I can't use those. The woman took resources from us with a wry smile, promising to give it to her friend as soon as she ended her shift. Her shift? Where is she working? Interesting. We reached the other side of the hamlet and were approaching the first gate. This light thing, this light business is really, really shady. Out of nowhere, a plump doorman appeared, walking straight up to us. Avoid him. Who are you? Take a defensive stance. Who are you? He claimed he was a simple doorman, but everything about him was said otherwise. His work was to decide who was worthy of proceeding towards the light. Then let us in. The doorman looked at us and laughed like a creep. He told us to follow him and we started climbing a hill escorted by this henchman. The final gate leading to the light was in front of us. Follow the doorman. What the fuck? We trekked on the hillside towards the gate to the light. From our perspective the gateway was menacing. You better pray to your gods. There won't be there won't be time later, the doorman said. It's is the light some kind of concentration camp? What is going on? What is what is going on? I don't like it. The light seems to be a, a euphemism for something fucking horrible. Were we true to ourselves? Were we too deep in th in our thoughts, going through what happened along the way? It was challenging and exhausting, but we endured. I can't wait. And boldly looked to the future. She knew she would be better off here than in any place we passed on the road. And definitely better than her old home. Really? Okay. So we're almost there. Right, there was something about her sister protecting her from her father. We finally climbed up to the gate. The light awaited us beyond massive walls that resembled a prison. The sage stood in front of us, surrounded by staunch henchmen. What the hell? Wait for his reaction, walk up to him. There were spots of dried blood around a drag marks on the ground. The sage gestured at us to approach him. Do you shoot people? Don't move. The doorman pushed us with force enough to make us move. The sage smiled at us like a father would. There was something disturbing about him. Wait for him to speak. I don't like this at all. This is an alternative ending that I would like. I will go to that girl who was hiding in that cave and we just have like a, a, a nice household with two women that don't want to harm each other and we forage in the forest and we have our little hidey hole and we're living there until uh, better times come. How about that? The sage was smiling mysteriously and said that he knew us. He assessed us and was about to tell us what his judgment of us was. The light is so close. We were told to stand up. I judge your skills and your deeds. I judge your attitude and beliefs. I judge you for the things you wanted to hide. How did you know all of that? The sage knew. It wasn't important how he knew, only that he did. We didn't pass the trial and we were not worthy to step into the light. What the fuck? What did I do? <clears throat> you win? The end of the journey. I win? That didn't sound like winning. We made it so far and the sage didn't let us inside. Our sins and good deeds balanced for what we received a chance to work for our place in the light. Okay. For years we observed people gathering in the ham hamlet under the light to wait for their opportunity to pass sage's trial. Those who passed never came back. For those who failed, there were two options left. To stay and serve the light in the safety of the hamlet, or leave and never come back. Those who wouldn't adjust could stay forever at steep mountainside under the gate. And we, we are still waiting for our second chance. 
shit. But I win. I'm not accepted by the light, but I win. Honestly, I'm not mad at not being accepted by the light. The light seems shady business. Summary. Oh. Oh. Woo. Your journey. Okay. Are those some key events? Huh. We took dead swan's meat. I mean, yeah. We met Carla before we got to the camp. The dog's owner died because of us. Yeah, not really because of us, more we, we like couldn't save him. It was not our fault that he died. We just didn't have medicine back then. We saved the cat, enraging the starving people. The petrol station exploded, nearly killing us. I don't quite recall that, but whatever. We met an old lady with a creaky cart. That happened. We followed the doorman. There was another option? I don't think so. We have to work for a place in the light. Do we? Do we though? The end. I actually accomplished to beat this game at the first try. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not expect that. Not at all. The first few times when I played the beta, I actually played the beta version for like two times or three. No, just two times. The first time I absolutely died. No, three times. The second time I also died like after 10 minutes. Like, everybody died. My whole group of three people died. And now is the first time that I get somewhere. And I beat the game. What the hexicle? And best girl. And you're, you're like the best. The kid of the group survives the longest. And she just uh, masters all the events. Gets to the light. Doesn't get accepted to the light. I don't actually know. I didn't rob anybody. Once, I am, when somebody was distracted, I took some things from their backpack, that I remember. That was technically robbery, but I didn't threaten them. I just tried to avoid most conflict. I burgled, like I, uh, how do you say that? I ransacked? No. I took some stuff out of houses. Yeah, that for sure, but everybody does that in a situation like this. That's okay, I guess. I don't know about this ending. It said you win, but... Is there a chance to get into the light? And what the fuck is the light? I'm as intelligent as when I started the game, but it's... Damn, that's interesting. I really want to play the second time and the third time to find out more about the light now. So if you play the game once and even if you win... Damn, replay value! Damn! This game's got it going for... for itself. So... Whee! Uh, quick, uh, uh, well, how do I feel? It's a devastating world. Not much hope. But it's such a cool, such an accomplishment. Each time when you manage to find like some resources or help somebody, it feels really, really good. So, quite rewarding. And um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really fucking sorry that Jack and Alex didn't make it from our group. I really tried to help everybody, but... <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> They died like after 20 minutes or something, I don't know. Oops. Um, what do I think about the game? Um, how I already told you, I'm slightly biased because I already played the beta, I've been following the development and actually I'm going to be a translator for the German version, if all goes right. So um, I can't say I'm super unbiased about this, but so far what I like, what I really enjoy about the game is the atmosphere. Um, there could be some more uh, sounds, like uh, specific sounds, like the meowing of the cat or the whistling of that one dude. Most of the, of the time, um, there isn't. There is like just this one atmospheric sound that stays for a very long time. It's not a problem, but um, there could be done a little bit more. I really like the graphics. I think that you don't have to improve anything there. Everything is clear with the resources and stuff. You kind of had you, you get you need to find out how how that stuff works, and you might die one or two times before you find out how act actually that was the thing for me. I already knew it because I played the beta version, but yeah, that's that. I think that's not a problem. They, there's no tutorial or something needed. You just have have to figure it out yourselves, and I think the devs said the same. Um, 
Now the language, how you you might have noticed, sometimes has a, some some spelling mistakes, some grammar problems, weird word orders. That is because uh, the people who developed the game are from Poland, as far as I know, and English isn't their first language. And in my opinion, for somebody who who also has a different first language than English, it works already really well. I understood most of the things that were going on, so it wasn't that big of a problem. But they're still working on that. Don't don't. Uh, don't worry. And also like smaller or bigger bugs, like that one time when it showed the, ba the camp in the background, but we weren't actually in the camp. Stuff like that is being worked on and fixed. So, yeah. Um, apart from that, try the game yourself. I'm absolutely encouraging it also to support the devs. I mean, if you watch this video, you probably didn't buy the game already, so do it. It's, mm, I think full price, it's $10 on Steam. You can get it for a Windows platform. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gaming on a Mac anymore. I finally have a Windows computer. Oh my God. So cool. And yeah, that's also why the game that I showed you wasn't pixelated. I mean, yeah, it was pixelated, <laughs> but that's the style of the game. But it didn't lag and it had enough frames per second if everything went right and the sound was okay and everything was okay because I finally have a good setup and I'm so happy about it. And I'm so happy that I could show you this game because that really this game is, has such a special place in my heart and um, I'm really happy to be able to play that kind of game from a small studio just uh, one or two handfuls of people and I want to congratulate them for developing this game during the past year, few years it's their first game baby bison games check them out going to roll the credits good idea starting anarchy oh hey. no music Let's see if I can recognize some of the names. Yep, that name says something to me. That one too. Um, that probably. So you see the same names repeat all the time. And it's really not that many people. I will make some music. There's no music. You survived the blackout. Or probably you died three times and then survived as a lonely little girl called Anne. Dun, dun. Okay, actually, oh damn it! <laughs> I thought I could s say, "Oh no, we have a blackout." Goodbye, <laughs> but no, we're back in the title screen. But I will say goodbye now. It's okay. You have seen everything that I can show you. The rest, discover it yourselves. Until the next time, and goodbye.